your main girl for information, here with my boyfriend. Today, we are here to talk all about all kinds of interesting stuff. We're going to start you off with the basketball team going to state once more, just like last year. Repeat, big shocker there. Zoe has a segment for us. Hi, I'm Sam Aguilio. Hi, I'm AJ Yost. Hi, I'm Matt Aldridge. And we are part of the Animal Quarters Boys basketball program. 27-24 yeah. Seahawks with a three-point lead. There are a few teams that can run it down the court like Anna Quarters. you got to believe that at the two-way level. Oh, nice. ball stolen by Johnson. He's got a runaway at the rim. Goes up and in to beat the buzzer. Pass goes to Aldridge. His shot for the... Aldridge. All right, so we left yesterday during school and drove over as a team to Yakima. And our first game is about to start right now. The Anacortes boys basketball players have worked very hard to make it to state this year. Their first state game is against Clover Park, which is today at 2 p.m. So the deal is that we are playing right now currently, and then we have another game tomorrow. And if we win either one of those, we will have a game Saturday, so you should come to that as well. Team bonding there. You know, everybody cuts their hair. You gotta stay. Good luck. She just recorded that. Oh. <laughs> Live. You can listen to the game on AM 1340 or online at 1340thewhale.com. Next up, we have a Spamela update about choreography which you will find is very difficult if you are ever in a play, which I wouldn't know because I'm not in it, but <laughs> we can find out all about it in this segment by Maximilian. Hi, I'm Katie Hudak and I am playing the Lady of the Lake. Hi, I'm Brenna Casey and I'm playing Pappy. Learning chore choreography has been the hardest part for me just because I play a guy and so I have to dance like a guy a lot of the time and that's hard. For me, I really like the choreography even though I don't dance like 75% of the time. Most of my role is actually being my own character and my own staging and making up my own movement. I'm Maxwell Crable and I am playing Sir Galahad, Dennis Galahad. I'm Taylor Phillips and I'm playing Not Dead Fred, the historian and a minstrel. My favorite part about choreography is just actually completing a dance number and getting it done because they take a while but once you get them done they're really, they're really good. And Glenna is fantastic and she's a really good teacher and really patient with us because not all of us are like professional dancers. So I'm Glenna Goff and I'm the choreographer for Spamalot. We've been working twice a week after school uh, for, gosh, I don't know how many weeks, getting at least 12 big dance numbers ready, teaching the guys how to tap, how to cha-cha, teaching the girls how to do some great salsa moves, samba moves, and all kinds of excellent dance steps, and they're doing a great job. It is really actually exciting to me to share my love of dance. So I love to see people find out like that maybe they didn't even know they could dance or would like to dance and then they get up there and they perform and they're having a really good time with it. So that's what I look forward to is just kind of seeing people grow through performance and um, maybe find out if they could do something they didn't know they could. I have to push the pram a lot. Next up, we got an interesting lady who's got an interesting talent, guitar. That's right, Emma Cooper. We're going to get to feast our ears on that and her first person by Owen. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Emma Cooper, and this is my first person. I've been playing guitar for, I think, a good 11 years. I just always had it around and I learned from watching my mom and dad play. I grew up listening to a lot of Radiohead, so they really have influenced a lot of my songs, I guess. Um, well, this here is my guitar. I've had it since I was about 12 years old. Um, it's an Epiphone plus Paul. I love my guitar. My favorite thing about the music experience is I think just feeling the music. It's, it's a good way to convey emotions without having to use words. As far as it, um, the future, uh, my future with music goes, um, I just want to continue just playing just because it's something I love to do. Not necessarily to make a profit or anything, but it's just what I love to do, so share it with people. <laughs> Next up, we're going to learn about some history, but instead of it being about the Civil War, it's going to be about Anacortes, which I guess is more interesting. Let's take a look at this segment by Henry. Welcome to Anacortes History. Join me for a look into our town's past. Discover old stories, meet new people, and take a visit to early days of Anacortes. on Anacortes History. Episode 2, Mariner's Pageant. The Mariner's Pageant was created to celebrate our rich maritime history. It featured a full-on carnival, among other festivities, such as these parades making their way down Commercial Avenue. The carnival was home to small rides and even a dunk tank. The greatest attraction was the water show, seen here. Additionally, there was a local variety show to top it off. Visit the Anacortes History Museum museum.cityofanacortes.org to learn more. And next up, school's over. Get out of here while you still can. And next week, we have stories about cool places in Anacortes, a first person about Kyle Faso, the student art show, and ways to save fit. And shout out to Mr. Burnett's World Religions class. So from my rock to yours, yeah, that's it.